I'm Phil Mullen and I'm here to tell you about my breakout workshop at the 16th ASEP International Conference in Phoenix, Arizona. It's from the 29th of May to the 1st of June. The conference is called Talk Is Not Enough, Activating Broader and Deeper Levels of Healing. It's a wonderful title. ASEP is the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. It's the excellent home, professional home, for energy psychologists, energy medicine and energy healers of all kinds. My workshop is Healing Deep Reversals and Healing the Reversed Personality. Now, decades ago, Dr. John Diamond whose pioneering work gave rise to energy psychology, noted phenomena whereby a person displayed through muscle testing a reversal of the body's morality system, whereby good would test as bad and bad would test as good. Later, Dr. Roger Callahan, the founder of Thought Field Therapy, found that some of his patients would not benefit from his acutapping methods initially because their energy and mind were organised against health, well-being and resolution of the problem. Now, fortunately, Dr. Callahan found three quite different ways of neutralising psychological reversal, as he called it. These were tapping the uh, small intestine meridian on the side of the hand. Another was making a statement of self-acceptance. And the third was the use of the batch flower remedy, rescue remedy. They're all quite different methods and they all work very well. Now since Dr. Callahan's seminal work Many of us in the field of energy psychology have found that reversals are often, although not always, motivated, driven by fears to do with safety, or feelings of not deserving, or violations of identity, or chronic rage, and there can be others as well. Resolving reversals is truly the key to successful energy psychology treatment of any problem. Where there are reversals, no treatment will work until they are addressed. Fortunately, they are usually easy to address once identified. However, some reversals are deeply rooted. A deep opposition to the health, to growth and development a pervasive malign pattern of self-sabotage, maintaining misery and a lack of fulfilment of potential. Sometimes this deep pattern is based on repeated experiences of shame, of rejection of the life-seeking connection originally to the mother, of failing to evoke an empathic response in the mother, such that life energy flips into its reverse. So in this workshop I will expand on these themes and will also describe what I call the reversal virus. It's not a literal physical virus, but a virus-like formation within the energy system of many human beings. This twists and distorts human nature and desire. It's going to be a wonderful ASEP conference. They always are. Thank you for listening.